Hi, thanks for joining me today. I am Jen, and today we're going to decorate for Easter. Let's get started. It's the day after St. Patrick's Day, so first we have to put away our St. Patrick's Day stuff, so let's throw it in the bin, and we're ready to put this away in the basement and pull out the Easter stuff. Okay, here we are now with our Easter. I hope you're as excited as I am because this is really the last holiday that we could decorate for until Thanksgiving, right? So let's make this really great. So uh, you can see I have one bin down here and then I have a whole bunch of stuff that no longer fits in my bin. And these are most of my soft stuff. I will show you how we decorate all of this stuff and we'll s I'll kind of show you what each one is. So this is super cute. It goes around your faucet. So let's put this over here on the faucet. And it just gives me something to look at. It's for me entirely. I guess if people came over, they could see it too, but it goes around here. I have one for every holiday. It just looks super cute. I kind of mold it till it fits, but it's got a couple of bunnies on it. And I think that's super cute. I will do a whole montage at the end with some cute music so you can see everything I do inside and out. But for today, we're gonna just do one thing at a time three little bunnies. And I usually put that on one of my wood pieces. So I'm gonna take you with me so we can do that together. And this is the wood piece. If you followed me when I did my St. Patrick's Day decorations, I have very, one very similar. If you haven't seen that one and you like to watch people decorate, I will link that here. And I will also link it below in the description box. So we will hang this right here, straighten it out. And we have our second decoration put up. So let's see what else we have in our arsenal. And this is a cute little bunny mat and it's real thin. And I just put this on top of my mat at the front door and that just gives a little fun when you walk in the front door. Okay, and that is done. You'll see that in the montage. I've got a few towels as well. This one's super cute. It's got the little uh, bunny ears, 3D bunny ears, and we will put this on the stove. I will sometimes safety pin this together, and that way it doesn't fall off, because you know people are constantly opening and shutting the oven. Well, if you pin this together at the bottom, it doesn't fall off. So then I have it on all season. And that's adorable. This is going to go outside in my flower pot. I actually got some spring fake flowers. It's actually snowing out today, so we're going to pretend that it's nice spring day outside because it is the day after St. Patrick's Day. And this will go in my flower pot if I can jam it in there because it's a little cold out. <laughs> Makes the dirt get a little hard, but we will do our best. And I could always use a screwdriver if I need to kind of help me along, but that's where this will go. All right, and then we've got a cute little egg wreath. And I think she's really pretty too. I've had her forever. She's got a few flowers that are obviously falling off, but we could always add a few sprigs if we need to, but she's looking just fine. We'll put her up here. She is all done. I'll keep this till the end because it's gonna go on our bench. And this is a table runner. I will also show it at the end as well. It's super cute with all the bunnies. I've got this bunny and I like that kind of on my island as a centerpiece so I can put my candles and things like that over here. So this will just go on my island. Um, this is a pretty springy candle, but we'll find a candle that matches a little bit better for spring. I have a pink one. It's got a coffee scent. It's fantastic. It's from Bath and Body Works. I will find that and get you the scent. This is a cute little pillow. It, he has a little bow tie that is 3D. <laughs> so, I mean, come on, isn't that cute? And so we're gonna put this over here and Charlie's uh, watching out the window, make sure that we don't get any strangers coming to the house, you know. He's a, he's a watchdog at the end of the day, or at least he thinks he is. All right, let's go over this way. Hi, Charlie. Can you say hi to the viewers? I think we're gonna put our pillow there, Charlie. Okay, what do you think? We're getting there, right? 
So this was made by my youngest grandson, not my youngest grandchild, but young, my youngest grandson, Winston. What they did is they took his little feet, made it, out, made it into a bunny. Is that not adorable? And so that was Winston last year. So we're gonna have to put that up somewhere. So we're gonna hold on to that. It doesn't have a hook, so we'll figure something out. I have two more pillows. These are a little bit more serious bunnies, but they're cute, aren't they? They also have 3D looking, but they're not 3D, uh, bow ties. And so we'll put these on the, on the couch, on the other couch, just on the corners. It'll drive me crazy all season because they'll fall off. Sometimes I pin them. So we'll put these and we've got Molly and Bri, Bri over here lounging. They help, but they're just sleeping when they help. So those will go here and this one, hey sweetie, we'll go over here. And then we have one that's in need of repair. His eggs are falling off, but I do think that if he sits straight, he may not need to be repaired. <laughs> so let's go see what we can do with him. I think he's gonna go on the table. What do you think? Let's go try that. Put him here. Do you like him over here? I think he looks cute. He needs to have a prominent position. While we're over there, we will put up this little swag. Is that what they call these? I can't think of the name of it right now, but this is going to go on top of the mantle. There we go. I've got a tablecloth that we will put outside as well. It's got little bunnies, flowers, anything springy. That's what we need right now, spring. We just need to tell Mother Nature, hey, we need spring. You guys don't believe me that it's snowing out. Let me show you over here. Can you see the snow out here? It's definitely snowing out. Flurries, but it's snowing nonetheless. It's okay, we're still decorating for spring, so it doesn't matter. We're having fun in here. And the dogs, I know, although they don't look like they're having fun, they're loving me just being around and <laughs> decorating. So everything's out of our bag here. And we are going to open our box. And I may shop a few too many after Easter sales because I seem to have a lot of plates. So these are small and big plates here. And then I think I have more super big plates here. So I will tell my daughter-in-law that I have a whole bunch of plates and maybe she'll use them. I'm a paper plate kind of a girl because I like to be able to visit a little bit at the holidays. And so if I just am able to throw away all the plates, fantastic. I don't have any real china anyway because I am a little klutzy. And so I've got some Corel wear, but nothing that I need to put out that's going to be like, whoa, she put out the fine china. No, I put out paper plates. <laughs> These were my kids' Easter baskets back in the day. Cute little story. I was a single mom for a lot of my kids' younger years. One Easter, I literally forgot to put the baskets out. I don't know what happened if I just fell asleep. In the morning, my kids came and woke me up. And I want to say uh, they were probably six and seven and a half or something along those lines. The two youngest kids, they were like, mom, the Easter Bunny didn't come. And they're so upset. And I'm like, oh, like that feeling of dread you get. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, don't worry. I'm sure that the Easter Bunny just couldn't get in. I'm sure that it probably left your Easter basket somewhere else. So I send them and I'm like, Amanda JT, go downstairs, look in the basement and maybe she left them in the laundry room or something. So I send them down there. I have the Easter baskets in the garage. I run into the garage. <laughs> I run around the house and I put them by the front door, run back. And then I do this whole thing of let's look in the back. Let's look, you know, here, let's look there. And then we open the front door and I'm like, oh, the Easter baskets, the buddy did come. And so we saved Easter, but oh my goodness. It was that and the tooth fairy. Like, why does the tooth fairy have to come at night? Because <laughs> I 
sleeping at night. So there were so many times where my kids were like, the tooth fairy didn't come. And so I'm throwing money on the floor under the bed. Oh, it just fell under the bed. I am now happily married and have been for 14 years. And we have five kids together. These are the youngest kids. We'll just leave this here for a second because we don't know where that's going to go. This is just a beautiful cross and it shows that Jesus rose from the dead and so this needs to have a prominent position. So I'm gonna put this on top of the mantle as well. I do have my silly Easter shirt on. Do you guys like it? I swear that my kids roll their eyes whenever they come over for any holiday. St. Patrick's Day, I wore my St. Patrick's Day hat, my St. Patrick's Day earrings, and then I had face stickers, so yeah. My grandkids think I'm the coolest, but my kids, not so much. Okay, more plates. Definitely need to stop shopping the plate sales. They're cute too, though. I got this at a craft fair. It's a spring on it. And it's got like a bunny butt in there and some little flowers. It's seen better days. It's been a long time that I've had this, but I think she's cute. And this will go in the bathroom. Whoa. We've got our carrot bunny. Everybody needs a carrot bunny. And she's got cute little ears that stand up, but she's adorable too. We will probably put her next to the mantle for now until we find a better spot for her. I'm trying to remember. So we've only been in this house. Um, it's going to sound like a long time, but I think we've been in this house for four years. I know where she goes in our other house, but I forget every year where she goes in this house. So we'll find a place for her. It's kind of a pain getting old, isn't it? But well, it's fun because it's like a new thing every year because I can't remember what I did with them last year. All right, so she'll sit over there until I figure out what I want to do with her. If you saw my St. Patrick's Day decorating video, I have an aunt that is no longer with us that made me all these ceramic pieces. They have lasted for a long time, probably 30 some years. And this is a beautiful bunny and it is ceramic and she's in a little cabbage and it's got some flowers. We will put this out as well. Remove him, put her here. Put him in front of the fireplace. Okay. This is another little pick for the card. It looks like it's missing. He's missing a carrot or two, but um, this says carrot patch on it. I'll either put him on a plant inside or if he fits, we'll put him on the planter outside and if I can get it in because it's super cold. I've got a broken piece here, but my little bunny friend sits inside of her little piece. This, she's got a broken ear, but that's okay. People get broken ears. And then this little piece. And so I've got little grandkids, so if things are broken, it's fine. So we'll um, put these out as well. I need to leave a few things for the bathroom. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna leave these two pieces for the bathroom. I think those will be cute. I've got a candy dish. It's a cute little bunny candy dish. That will probably sit on top of my island. I've got this, which is a little ceramic holder. And then I've got a little bunny as well. Still taking the stuff out. Of it. It's like a, it's like one of those clown cars where things just keep coming out. You're like, how is it all fitting in there? Okay, I've got more towels. I've got a pretty plate that I can put appetizers out or whatever. This is a real plate, not a paper plate. So I'll put that out on the table. This is a cute little bunny that is wrapped around a carrot. Go into a window so that we can see him or we can put him in the bar area. Maybe we'll put him in the bar area. So I've got some chicks. So we need to just throw these in the wash so that they get nice and clean for us. I do wash everything before I put it away, but then you know, a basement, I don't know. And then more bunnies. This is, um, it goes on like a, a doorknob. Probably more like a 
doorknob like the one over here so this is a better doorknob because the other doorknobs are the kind that go like this this is a thick kind of a doorknob and she goes like that i got that at a craft show too i think it's kind of cute isn't it but it's cute and i've got a whole bunch of these so we'll stick these around in some of my plants to make it look a little bit more festive in here. I will definitely do my little montage of how everything looks at the end when I get everything put up because you guys don't want to see me running around the house <laughs> more than you already have. I can either put these in here or I can just put them around the house. I think I'm gonna put them around the house. That's what I usually do. And then I do need to decorate my tree over there. I got these for it. This is my first year having this tree. I got these from those of you that are in the United States. I've got I got these from Hobby Lobby. They were originally $7.99. And if you know Hobby Lobby, all their holiday items for that particular holiday are usually 40 or 50% off, depending on what their sale is. And so this I'm going to put around my tree. So let's go over there and try that out. I just took down my St. Patrick's Day this morning, as you saw. There's still a few shamrocks that are stuck to the lights. There we go. And this looks like that one. It's lit up. I'll cut off that tag, but it's kind of cute. All right. I'll put everything out and then take some pictures and then put it to music and you guys will get to see it. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you had fun decorating with me. I hope it inspired you to decorate your own home. If you'd like to show me what your decorations look like, which I would love, I have a Facebook page, uh, Gentastic Journey, and you could post your pictures, send me comments. You can also comment to this video down below in the comments. And I'd love to hear what you're doing this season for our last decorating holiday until Thanksgiving. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this. I got a kick out of what I love to do, which is add a little more joy into life. Decorate if you have decorations. Go to the Dollar Tree. A lot of my stuff is either handmade or from the dollar store or craft shows that I've gone to over the last probably 30, 35 years. And I don't throw a whole lot away, as you can tell. Create your own little bit of joy. Decorate and have fun. Pretend it's a springy day outside. I think I might need to put like maybe some flowers on my window and pretend it's not snowing out there. What do you think? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed decorating with me today. If you would, please subscribe and you'll be able to see the two videos I create each week. And also, if you hit the notification bell, it'll tell you when I create those two new videos. Also, if you liked this video, click the like button and let me know that you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, have a great day.